Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School. Today I'm just going to show you a really simple, easy recipe. You know those potatoes with the lovely Gruyere cheese and cream and, oh, Dauphinoise potatoes? What I've done in advance is um, I've just peeled a potato. Um, because um, I worked in France, uh, um, you know, I've, I've still got some of it inside me. So, you know, we like to make shapes out of food, but you don't have to do this. But I'm just going to show you how, because I think it's quite a cute little tip. But um, also, the other thing is, if they're all roughly the same height, then they'll all cook at roughly the same um, time. So there's a nice uh, little tip for you as well. Um, what I'm going to do now is just slice this into um, equal quarters so that we've got nice even discs of potato. So what I'm going to do now is just layer this dish. I'm going to do four potatoes. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I think when you have it on the dish, if you just have the potato as a little tower, I think it looks more impressive than if you just sort of plonk it on in the way that perhaps your mum would have done. But um, if you see your mum, don't tell her I said that. Um, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to layer um, each potato with a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, chefs call that just seasoning. Um, a little bit of Gruyere cheese, like that. And then I've got, you're supposed to, for this recipe, see some, you know, the police from the Dauphinoise region will probably now come around and arrest me because I'm contravening their method of making potato. I think you should um, maybe do two parts cream to one part milk, but the traditional recipe, which is why I've got them here, is half and half. Um, but what I'm going to do is just um, add that cream and milk just to bring it up to that one layer um, and then just keep adding. So I'm just going to go all the way up to four layers. Now of course you don't need to watch me do all four layers, um, so maybe come back in a minute um, when I've done all four towers um, and watch me put uh, the potatoes in the oven. I bet you can barely wait. Right, well as you can see there are actually five now because what happened was um, once you've layered all the cheese and the seasoning up, um, uh, I only really wanted to do three because you want to cover the ingredients with the um, milk and cream. Um, and it's sort of almost covered so what I've just done is just ensured that those potatoes are nicely covered. Um, now um, I could add cheese um, on the top layer, but all that will happen is that cheese um, will crisp up and then caramelise or burn. Um, so we're going to leave that till the last 10 minutes of cooking. Another little tip is um, because the potatoes are just coming up to the edge, if you put it in another tin, it's not going to spill over your oven, which you'll then have to clean and get someone else to do. Right, so that goes straight into the oven. And we're going to cook those off for about an hour. And then for the final 10, 12 minutes of cooking, we're going to sprinkle some cheese up um, and then we'll plate up. Oh, those look fantastic. What's actually happened is uh, the cream sort of almost souffléed up over the potatoes, cooked them through beautifully. My little trick of keeping the dish underneath works perfectly. Ladies and gents, that is how you make a dauphinoise potato.